You know, it's funny, people will ask me that, and I'll dig deep into the numbers on all these things, but even looking at it, of course he's a Hall of Famer. Like, of, co like of course, he's had too many huge moments where he has actually led his team, like physically brought them to a championship. Um, yet, Edgar Martinez was a better hitter in his career. So we got that. What do we do about that? Well, also, look, we're going to have to deal with the PED issue with David Ortiz mm -hmm. also. Nobody, as a voter, it's a painful thing to have to go through it and figure out what it means. He's obviously denied, uh, you know, his presence, on, he, that he was on the list, but for the wrong reasons. And so that's going to be part of it. Edgar Martinez, a guy I vote for, BK. Nice. And yeah. he's, thank you. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, it makes me happy. happy. That's to be yeah. the only time we agree Woo, on something. Look at that. But, but the bulk numbers for Ortiz, the longer period, like, uh, I, I just think the numbers are more dramatic, and I think he'll probably, because of that, be remembered as the best designated hitter ever, mm. which I think is important if you're going to get in the Hall of Fame. It's like we're talking about Trevor Hoffman. Is he a Hall of Famer or not? Because he might be the second best closer ever or the fourth best closer ever or the sixth. Like, Rivera's going to waltz in mm. because even though the job was specialized, he was the best. Uh, where do we stand on that? The, the, the failed survey testing that wasn't supposed to come out, but it did come out. He spent the rest of his tier, uh, career denying this. Um, it is held against against other players, even suspicion of steroid use. Yeah, which I have a big problem with. And he's on a list of, I believe, 104 players from 2003. One out of five players, one out of every five players on that list are not confirmed positives. So right there is, you know, a 20% guess <laughs> rate. And I'm not comfortable, you know, holding that against him his entire career based on that. I'm just not. And there's other guys, uh, you know, Mike Piazza's Hall of the, Hall of, the Fall, Hall of Fame and, and Jeff Bagwell based on suspicion. I just think that's a really slippery slope. Yeah, where are you on that, Carlos? Yeah, we talk about suspicion. It's, it's totally different than actual seeing something that you're sure of. And, and again, Sherman, you said you voted for Edgar Martinez. David Ortiz has 194 more home runs than Edgar. So I'm just thinking to myself, man, how doesn't he get into the Hall of Fame, especially when all that PD issue, we're not sure of. I mean, there's, we're just assuming that it may be true. And he has just well, no, but, it, but, it, but it landed on that list, right? I mean, and Sammy, that's the only thing that is on Sammy Sosa right, right now, too. I, I don't know. No one wants to have to, you know, uh, but this is... To get back to the basic argument of it, this is, should we bestow an honor upon someone? So I hear what you're saying, right? Your performance only uh, with, with your vote. But uh, this is choosing to honor someone. Mm -hmm. So you, it, you're not persecuting them. You're just saying, do I honor him or, or do we not? It's also not a court of law. In, all, in a court of law, all these guys pretty much get off except for guys who are suspended with positive mm -hmm. tests. Mm -hmm. It, you know, like, it's my vote. You know, I could decide... The circumstantial evidence is such that I couldn't convict you mm -hmm. in a court of law, but I could convic convict you up here, and I'm not putting you in the Hall of Fame mm -hmm. because of it.